In the previous video, we were able to update profile. So in this video, I'm going to share delete user profile. So let's do that right away again. So now I'm going to add the delete button just under this back end of developer. So now let's do that right away. So go down to the account.html. Just underneath the profession, I'm going to add a button there. So let's do that right away. I'm just going to say button. So now button, after we've done that, we're going to simply add delete, the delete button there. And I'm going to add a class, the bootstrap class. It's going to be class should be equal to btn. I'm going to say btn danger for the red color of it. So now that is what I want. So now save your work now to the browser again. Refresh. Okay, now we have this delete button. This is to delete profile. So now I'm going to add delete profile, not just delete delete profile okay so now that's fine okay I want to add more space on top I don't want it to be so close let's see how it looks like oh there's no space you want extra spaces? Let's see. What's wrong? Actually, I want to make sure I'm just gonna simply put in some style here. Add the margin top to it. Style should be equal to let's say margin top. Let's just say 10 pixels. I'm gonna remove this to BR added here. Save your work. Refresh. Okay, I think this is. Let's make it bigger. Let's say 20. Refresh. Okay, that's fine. So after we've done this now, we're going to create a view. Let's go and create a view for this. Okay, getting used to all these. So we're going to create a view. Okay, so now this view, I'm going to call it delete profile. profile so we're gonna pass in the request now we're gonna return the same page understand this same update profile.html we are gonna return should we do this at all I'm kind of wondering okay I'm gonna change this some add I'm gonna create a different page not this so now request.h new file I'm gonna simply do I'm gonna call this delete profile dot html we call delete profile dot html okay we've done this already so now I'm gonna simply do some copy of codes here I'm gonna copy this control C pieces now I'm gonna add the blog content so our, our delete page is gonna look exactly like the update profile page you get it's just that we're gonna have difference in the look of the button you understand we're gonna have just the button color is gonna change you get so I'm gonna simply add blog content blog content Gonna end block. Okay, after we've done that now, I'm gonna do some other stuff. I said earlier, we're gonna also copy this div, copy everything, just the div, control C, link it down there. Only difference is that we are gonna for now I'm gonna like comment this out for now. You understand now? So our button is gonna be different. So we're gonna put in the danger button here, btn danger, and we're gonna simply do delete profile, delete profile. Oh god, okay, let's just say okay, delete profile, that should be fine. Okay, 
so this is all I wanted to add putting the little profile on top here also this profile so that done so let's go with the views currently now so our view of Firefly I'm gonna simply copy this but put Ctrl C and let's paste at the bottom I'm gonna change this to delete profile if I'm right okay delete profile and context let's just call the context remove the error so now I'm gonna simply do I'm gonna get the profile again that's a logged in user this profile should be equal to request dot user this refers to the logged in user this request dot user always refers to the logged in user but I'm gonna add dot user profile because if you look down here dot user profile is connected to the user you can see so I'm gonna put this dot user dot user profile in lower case so now request dot user dot user profile that's just it so after we've done this now we are gonna get the form again that same update form form should be equal to this update profile form we have on top there updates profile form so I'm gonna listen for a post request now so we're gonna simply say if request method is equal dot method is what is happening is equal equal to post okay if request of method is equal to post request we are going to do this so now if there's a post request so we are gonna do we are gonna make sure we are gonna delete the actual logged in profile you get so this is how we are gonna do it now so we are gonna get the logged in profile like this you know simply say user profile okay, this is a variable you can call it whatever you like so now we are gonna simply get the user profile so we gonna simply do the user profile dot objects dot get so this user profile as a as, as an attribute called user so now we're gonna use this attribute gonna say user profile dot object dot get user equal to profile this profile that here this, this profile refers to the logged in user I get equal to the logged in user we have currently equal to profile so after we've done this you should get and then you guess what we after we've done this now we're gonna simply come down to the bottom and just simply say user profile dot delete so that is it user profile dot delete so after we've done this now I'm gonna make sure we're gonna now put in a message we say messages dot error so I'm gonna simply say request Gonna say your profile has been deleted. Your profile has been deleted. Okay, so now I'm gonna return to the index, the home page. You know, let me say return render. That should be the. I'm gonna return down to the home page, and I can't. So I'm gonna try and see what that URL mapping is. Okay, return to the home page. You're gonna simply return to the return to this index you get. Okay, so come down here. Return. So it's gonna be return redirect, so not return render. Return redirect. Redirect. Okay, so after we've done this now, all the views have been done now. Once you create the UIs of Firefly. So now you all you have else so copy this I'm gonna call this delete profile and views dot delete profile make sure I'm sure of this views name is delete profile I think that's correct okay that done so now I'm gonna pass this delete profile to that 
to the button we created you get so actually be in our accounts.html the button we created okay this button we created here so now we don't see me person create a href I'm gonna pass this button into this a tag so I'm gonna simply pass Call that URL delete profile. Hope it works. So the link refresh this page. So click on delete button. Oh, there's a problem. Oh, this is oh, I forgot. We've not added the you go down to the delete. So if you go down to the delete page. You can see I commented this out, so this is a problem. So just remove the comments, and I'm going to add the styles for the container. I'm going to simply put some. You can see this this form we have. Oh, I get okay. This is, this was a problem. Now it just I think it has been fixed. We're going to pass this form to the context. Go on the views of PyFi. This form we have here. Pass it to the context. Forgot. Okay, that done already. After I've done that, go down to this page again. Okay, we have to just add the CSRF token. We look through the form so everything can look good. So now I'm gonna add the CSS for the up to just copy this. I'll just see and put it just inside of the blog content. So now I think actually everything should be fine now. So I just have to just simply look through the form so you can get a view okay, so you can display something on the page you get so after we've done that in the views of PyFi once there is a post request so once we click on that button at the bottom this time we're gonna get the profile and delete it you get so that one that's that's how it's gonna work so refresh this page okay I forgot to add the JavaScript now so I'm gonna copy this so I'm and explain how the things works behind the scene so just copy the script at the bottom copy and let's paste it down here so this is not best practices at all but you just have to just do this so i said now this input fields look through all the form fields we have after we look through them we have to have no this input field gets all the form fields we have on the page after that we have to run a for loop to look through it and add a bootstrap class to make the form look good understand so after i did that again we have a text and a text field so i got that text field by this after we got that how to add a class again the bootstrap class with the text field you get so that's all that's happened there so just save the page and go down to the browser refresh everything is looking good because you have the lead profile you get so now once i click on delete profile i don't want to delete this guy's profile no I'm gonna create a new profile. So now I'm gonna create that from the I'm gonna do that from what was it called again from the terminal here from the console. So I'm gonna pause the video and run Python manager spy create super user you get. So now I just created a super user you can see created successfully. So now I'm gonna run server again. So now go down to the to the admin panel. Now we're gonna log in this guy. Let's log out this particular user login again. Simply passing this name, Josh. Login. Okay, this guy is currently logged in, so I'm going to connect this user to a profile. I'm going to create a new profile connecting to this user. You can see we are doing all this manually. This is absolutely wrong. It should not be this. It should not be so. You get so. I'm gonna I'm gonna handle this problem in the next video. So I'm gonna simply pass in an email. So let's just do this. I'm gonna give him a picture. from 
for now he's a graphic designer let's just give him his mouse you know they, they work with mouse you get so open so now i'm just gonna put in i mean designer who knows his job So now we just save. So now I'm gonna save. Okay, fine. So go down to the page again. If you refresh this page, you can see we have Odinaka Joshua currently on the. So you can see we have Odinaka Joshua is showing his own appearing on the profile yet. If I get down to. So let's go down to the account page currently. Accounts. Currently, we can see we are currently on Odinaka Doshua's account. He has no articles yet. You can see his articles section is completely blank. He has no article. You can see everything is fine. So now I want to delete this particular profile. You understand? So let's delete this profile. Click on delete on the delete button. So come down here and click on delete. This profile will be gone. You get so delete profile. Oh, it said can't query. Josh SP must be user instance. Okay, let's solve the problem right now. Okay, so now we're gonna solve the problem. Here's where the problem is coming from. Okay, so from this particular line called user profile. So what I'm gonna do now is that I want to make sure I delete the login user. I don't mind if the user has a profile. So this is I'm gonna do it now. So I'm gonna comment this three section. I don't want these messages anymore. I'm going to comment the, these three lines. I'm going to eliminate the messages instead. So, yeah, so this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to create a new variable called user. You can call it any name you like. I'm going to simply say user should be equal to request dot user. Instead, this is the logged in user that is not associated with a profile. You can understand. So, if I share my model dot wi fi, you can see here I set a user. This is a set here. It means that after setting this user here, I added, I added a model that's cascade, meaning that if you delete a user and the user has a profile, both the user and the profile gets deleted. That's what the model that, that's what the model that cascade does. Understand? After I delete a parent element, it makes sure that the children of the parents are also deleted. You get so this user is a parent element, while the user profile is a child. You get so now. I simply I just simply get the logged in user after I got it I just simply just run user dot delete so this is gonna solve the issue we are having understand after the user has been deleted I want to make sure we are redirected back to the home page so I'm gonna remove this commented lines so you can have a better view okay this is done now so go down to the browser again I'm gonna go back Basically, let's go down to the home page and go back to the accounts. Accounts. Oh, user has no profile. Okay, who is it here? So now I'm going to create add a new profile. Refresh this page. Let's add a new profile to the current user. This is no. This is done manually. This is wrong. It's supposed to be whenever you create a user, a profile gets created. So we are going to solve this issue in the next video. So I'm gonna create a pro I'm gonna create a profile for this user now. So let's just do this. Let's just do this. Open and let's just add. I'm a graphic designer who loves his job. So save. So go down to that page again. Refresh. You can see the user. This is the user account. He has no articles. So delete profile. Come down here. Click on delete profile. Fine. The profile has been deleted. We are brought down to the home page. You can see no logged in user. Refresh the page. Go down to this page now. You see we will not find Josh again. Okay. Josh is the profile has been deleted. Login Josh is no longer here. Check the users. You can see it's no longer here. You can see we just deleted the user profile. Now, hope you enjoyed the video. So, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use signals in Django. So, whenever we create a user, I want to make sure that the profile gets created for that user. Understand? So, without further, without further ado, we are going to start. Yeah, without further ado, we'll meet in the next video. Stay blessed and bye bye.